Now we're just going to go through two of the crimping tools we have here at Warboard. The 1120 and the 1125. Uh, very little difference between them, even though they look different. They do a pretty good job. The 1120 has a release lever. And open that out and it will open up for you. It's very, very good. Uh, the compound leverage through here, as you can see, that's where you get all your power and it's all balanced through. It goes on the pin and actually locks the stud and track in together. Put the lever back down, it stores away nicely. 1125 is more manual as you can see, larger tooth. Compound leverage here once again, you can actually see that working as you go through. Both got great uh, rubber grips on the handles to make them a little bit easier for you. And uh, what we'll do now is we'll just pop a couple of these in and we'll see. So the 1120. small pin goes through quite easily. Uh, the 1125 a little bit larger tooth, give a bit more of a purchase, uh, a little bit of a wiggle, take it up to the top, like so, lock the head back in. Reason for a crimping tool, it's a lot easier, you're not using pop rivets, you're not using button head screws to lock your stud in prior to sheeting. Uh, so you're saving on material, you're saving on time. Sheets go through, you've got nothing proud on the front to hold the sheet out, so it gives you a nice clean surface to finish on. So that's the, uh, the two crimping tools that we have, both very, very good. If it feels good in the hand, buy it, but uh, both do an effective job.